Today we're taking a look at security cameras. If you don't have any, well, you probably need some. We have the Topo 2K QHD Outdoor Wireless Security Camera Kit today. TP-Link had reached out to me to see if I was interested in creating a video on this system, and after learning a little bit more about it, I was actually super interested. This kit comes with two C420 cameras and the H200 Topo Hub. The C420 cameras support 720p and 1440p while recording at 4 megapixels in addition to audio recording. You can opt for either 15 or 20 FPS at both resolutions, which is very nice to see. 15 FPS is definitely going to save you on network bandwidth, storage, and power usage, but 20 FPS does look a little more fluid and the playback experience is a little bit better. Both of the C420s are battery powered and they connect to your network by Wi-Fi. These cameras are actually completely sealed except for the charging port which does have a watertight plug, so you can actually install these outdoors to monitor your outside space or protect your property. Each of the cameras come with one battery pack. The battery packs can either be charged outside of the camera by the micro USB port or inside of the camera since the cameras do have a small but sealable USB micro charge port. The batteries are rated to last up to 180 days, which sounds pretty crazy, but that allows you to end up charging these once or twice a year. In my testing, I've had these cameras out for months now, both in cold areas, my basement, and in my garage, which is not heated. I can honestly say I'm extremely surprised that the battery usage claims appear to actually be correct and I might even get a little bit more than 180 days out of the first charge. In your setup, you can put the cameras anywhere, but I definitely thought the garage was an important one because there is a man door and there is a waist height window. I do have a car and a bunch of stuff in my garage and it is attached to my house, so this is definitely a section of my house that I wanna be monitoring with a camera. In terms of the second camera, I put that in my basement I can't actually show the front of my house, but that is where the camera will end up being installed. The cameras do include mounting kits. You'll get a couple of screws and the anchors, so you can drill into some portion of your outer or even the inside of your house. Bullet style cameras, so they are pretty easy to aim. You can actually just move them around on those mounts. There is definitely some resistance, which is good, so when you move these or position them, they're not going to move or fall or sway to the side just because of gravity or even some heavy wind. One thing to keep in mind when you're setting up cameras at your house, you always wanna be mindful of your neighbors. There's definitely some municipalities where you can get in trouble if you're recording off of your property. So one of the things you wanna do is when you set these up, check what the camera can actually see inside of the app and then adjust accordingly. Moving on to the included hub will allow you to record directly to the micro SD card even without an internet connection. So if you lose connection to the internet or if you wanna get these for say a cabin or an extra property, as long as you've got power and some kind of local network, not necessarily internet, you should be able to record and play all of this back Local recording on an SD card is definitely a nice feature, but Tapo offers cloud connectivity. If you do have an internet connection, you can actually subscribe to their cloud storage plan. You can store all of your footage up in the cloud, and you have a couple of retention options to fit whatever your need is. Given how a lot of vendors are forcing you into cloud storage, I really like that Tapo allows you to record locally to SD cards, and that they do offer pretty competitive cloud storage options. This Topo security camera kit actually includes quite a few features. This is definitely way more than just camera recording at 1440p. For instance, you can actually basically make a phone call between the app on your phone or a tablet and the cameras. Another pretty cool feature is that these cameras actually include spotlights. They do have a nighttime mode, but you can actually fire up the spotlights if you want extra light outside. That's actually a pretty cool feature that may save you money on installing a secondary light in a space where it's either inconvenient or not possible. You can actually configure these within the app so that if there is a motion detection event, a spotlight can fire up. If you want to go even farther than that, these cameras also have a speaker 
you can enable a siren function. So if you're monitoring or surveying a space where you know there's no circumstance where a person should be there on private property, you can actually enable the siren function. It's pretty likely that if somebody hears sirens and sees a spotlight, they're probably going to end up turning around. Honestly, in my opinion, those two features are pretty much as good or even a better deterrent than simply somebody seeing a security camera that's likely recording. These cameras, like I said, support daylight and color nighttime modes, as well as an auto switching profile, which actually comes in handy, especially in my garage. As you've seen in the video, the pairing process is actually very easy. It's also very quick. Essentially, you just follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be up and running in no time. The Tapo app will let you configure custom activity zones for movement alerts. You could set this up for like your porch, your driveway, maybe a side door, or even if you want zones set up if you put these cameras indoors. The Tapo app does support custom shortcuts and automations, so you can link or chain certain events with your Tapo equipment together. I mentioned earlier that I've had these cameras set up for a few months now. I really noticed that I like the video quality, the feature set is pretty crazy in my opinion, and the ease of use or the management of the cameras through the app combined with the hub. These are a super good value and I would definitely recommend these if you're looking to get up into surveying or capturing video on your property. The 180 day battery life claim is pretty nuts in my opinion, but as I found out, even in the colder spaces in my house, unheated garage, and the unheated basement, I think this is actually true. I've had these cameras running non-stop for about three months now, so if you're looking to start out your surveillance system, and you know you want to capture some outdoor spaces, but you don't want to run cables, I would definitely take a look at getting these cameras. In my case, I already had a couple of Tapo cameras and some smart plugs, so I was able to manage all of this together conveniently in the Tapo app. I actually really like the way this system is set up, so if you're looking to expand into surveillance or security, I would definitely recommend you take a look at the product offerings from Tapo. If you're interested in this kind of technology, definitely consider getting subscribed to the channel.